Corn silking was reported 97% complete in the latest crop progress report, which is ahead of past progress benchmarks by about 3 percentage points. The USDA reported the corn dough stage at 53%, also ahead of both the 5-year average and 2015 progress. For the first time this season, the USDA reported progress on corn dented currently at 9%. This figure is just above 2015 progress at this time, but below the 5-year average of 12%. Over half of the corn crop is considered to be in good condition at 54%, while 20% is considered excellent, marginally improved over conditions for the crop last year. The soybean condition is nearly unchanged from the previous week with 21% rated fair, 55% good and 17% in excellent condition. Soybeans blooming are up to 91% complete, while soybean setting pods are at 69%. Finally, the winter wheat harvest is 94% complete, with 10 of the 18 primary growing states reporting 100% harvest completion. For continued updates on the 2016 growing season, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. In other news, Cargill is once again reducing antibiotic use in its turkey. Here's account manager Megan Mick with the story. Cargill announced it is again reducing antibiotic use in its turkey business, making good on its promise of ongoing reductions in their overall use. On August 1, 2016, the company ended the use of an antibiotic used in both human and animal health care for disease prevention in turkeys harvested for its two largest brands, Honeysuckle White and Shady Brook Farms. At the same time, Cargill is expanding its antibiotic-free turkey products through the creation of its new Honest Turkey product line. These products will be differentiated from conventional turkey offerings because they come from turkeys that are never treated with antibiotics. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Thanks, Megan. Next up, poultry market reporter Terrence Wells is here with the latest analysis on the turkey market. One component of the market equation which is seen with relative clarity is the relationship whole bird values share with Ernerberry's turkey index. The most significant component of the index is breast meat. When breast meat values and to a lesser degree parts values are low, as they are considered to be right now, the value of the index falls below the existing market value of whole birds. When this occurs, it makes more sense for the processor that has whole bird packing capability to keep their toms and hens intact. This way the entire bird is sold for a decent return rather than exposing themselves to profitless sales because of an oversupplied meats and parts market. Given the present scenario and considering the production potential we previously discussed, this is just one way market participants are trying to keep in balance and maintain a competitive edge. Thanks Terrence, that concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customized searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.